poppin' fam? What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Unk No Pump. Unk No Pump. With another short video just for you. See, I'm double bagging. I say double bag your shit. You know what I'm saying? Double bag your cheek too, fam. You know what I'm saying? Word up. That's that Moringa T. Always say get on that Moringa fam. Moringa. You know what I'm saying? I got the vitamins and minerals, all that good shit. You know? Since I started drinking Moringa tea, my penis has got two inches large, longer, and about half inch of girth for that motherfucker, fam. Word up. Rrr. Also, cop them black at your fame first t-shirts. This is hot, fam. Definitely. This is that Egyptian cotton, fam. That Egyptian cotton, fam. Word up. Boom. Well, anyway, fam. This little shit was going to be about the sucker test. The sucker test. Like, what do you mean by the sucker test, Unc? The sucker test is this here. Okay. Scenario. If you came home from work, or whatever you came from a trip, whatever it is, and you came home, you open your door, you hear some Barry White playing, you know, some good oldies playing from the 70s. You know, you smell a little weed in the air, some flowers been burning. You know what I'm saying? You come inside the house, you see two wine glasses there, two champagne glasses, whatever it is. You walk up the stairs to your house, you hear moaning and groaning. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's daddy. You know, all that good shit. He hears he, somebody upstairs in your room. You go up the steps, you open your door, and what you see? You see your wife getting dug out, giving head, whatever it is. She's having sexual relationships with someone else in your house, in your bed. What would you do? Huh? I'm going to give you a second thing about it while I sip my tea. All right, time up, motherfuckers. What would you do? Huh? What would you do? You come in the house, see some dude bug, banging your wife out, pow, 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 tear it up. What would you do? Boom. If you said, I will kill him, then you was a sucker. You felt the sucker test. You know what I'm saying? I say it like this here because you didn't hear no one calling out rape or fighting. You see her legs caught back on her fucking knees on her goddamn ears and she's enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to run beside there and get so upset and get real emotional and want to kill the man. That man didn't break in your house. That man did, uh, is not raping your woman. You know what I'm saying? He's there having sex. That means she let him in. She's consensual. You know what I'm saying, fam? Maybe think about this here, because um, it's like a quick piggyback. I just woke up, turned my head on. I see the brother For No Fame has a video out there. For No Fame. The brother For No Fame. Always got some good shit. Check the brother out, like I always do, fam. You know what I'm saying? Unk says he good. He good. I'm vouching for his shit, right? And he got something there about man smokes his wife's side piece after catching her in the, in the, in the bedroom, right? Like I said, the dude was a sucker, he was. You no, know, he's just a Navy guy. He probably been deployed somewhere, you no. Know, come back home after six months, a year, whatever time, then they come back home. It's not a war time, so it's not a year. So I died probably for six months, whatever, whatever he had, he come back home. Could have been for the fucking weekend. You know, his hood rest don't give a goddamn. You know what I'm saying? And he come back home, pump. He walks his idea. See his wife has got some sexual act with the man. He smokes him. Bow. Kills the dude. Kills the dude. Sucker, sucker shit there, fam. The young blood must think he threw his whole career away. He's inside the Navy. Threw his career out the way. Threw his life away. Now he's going to do 25 to life. I don't know what state he in. Might be do 25 to life with some, some dude he don't even know. Some dude came, was invited to the house, you know, for a piece of ass. And he do doing what a man would do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit happens like that. But you can't get mad at these men out there for, for, um, for not turning down some pussy. Are you crazy? Pussy is one of the best things in the world, the tastiest things in the world, fam. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna turn that shit down. You need to give your sorry ass bitches y'all got there. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, before you need to tame your hoes, tame your bitches. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need your hoes ain't tame, your bitches not tame. They're gonna do what the fuck they want. They're gonna run wild. You know, they're gonna run wild. You gotta tame them. You know what I'm saying? Tame them, young bloods. Damn sure. Get some cameras in your goddamn house. You must not let her know where your cameras at in the house. Just get cameras installed. She gonna know where the fuck these things at. Clocks, any guy, they got cameras everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And keep cameras in your house. And not saying you, you got to keep staring at her, but sometimes you're going to get that fucking intuition, that gut feel like, damn, I need to look at these goddamn cameras in my house. I think somebody's butt fucking my wife. Click that shit like, oh shit, goddamn, this mother man dingle tearing her ass up. You know what I'm saying? Then you rush her home <laughs> on the highway, speeding real fast. You know what I'm saying? And when you get there, what happens? You want to kill the man. Throw your life away. You know what I'm saying? Get you in jail. I don't know if they had any kids, but they got kids. So they're going to be bastards now because they got to know they pops no more. He's gone. I don't know when. He's gone in the fucking wind now. So young buzz out there, you know what I'm saying? Keep your composure. Don't get too emotional with some shit like that. Don't throw your life away for some damn hood rat. Huh? Please don't do that shit. No, pussy is pussy. She give a pussy away. You don't own that pussy. 
No, see, it's like you can fuck who you want to fuck. She don't own that dick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get that shit in your head. We all mess with a female, like, oh, this is mine, this and that. But th this bread was his wife's side piece. So this is a different scenario. I said, when you get married, it's like some different shit there. But if your girlfriend, she want to fuck around, what can you do? Hey, fuck it. You go mess around too. Let this shit go if y'all can't um, come to terms. Come to terms. But it's a difference when you marry. You know what I'm saying? You put your heart in there. This hood rat, you get a hood rat your last name. You know what I mean? You might pop some. Some kids out of this shit, you know what I'm saying? You already got that, they got a little life insurance plan. Got a medical and dental for a rotten ass, you know what I'm saying? But she can't appreciate that shit. Once your man go away who pays all the bills, she will bring a side piece in the house. I would have fucked her up. Damn sure. Not the dude. I'd like, probably been mad at that motherfucker, like, yo, man. Ah, but you see this, you see, you see what's going on. She's not being raped. You know, it's like, so it's like, you got to take that L right there, you know, it's take that L, take the L, and do not take that life, that life bed, that, that life L in prison, you know what I'm saying, fam? Tell him to get the fuck on out of my house, finish. But, if the dude, he want to act, you know how some of these stupid motherfuckers is, they want to get courageous, like, oh, she, she's mine, mine now, or say some dumb shit like that, then you smoke his ass. Then you, you have the right to smoke this motherfucker. Why? Because it's your house. You got pictures on the goddamn wall. I'm sure you're doing. She took all your, all your shit down. So he most likely he knows he's married. He been messing around a little bit before. We tell him to leave. He wanna oppose it, oppose that leave. Out. He wanna help your wife. Damage his ass. Damage his fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Take his ass out the fucking game and bury him out back. Fuck that motherfucker. But far as the goddamn woman doing shit like that, bringing men's in people's houses and shit, men's houses and they fucking bedrooms. That's a fucking violation. A violation. I'm not saying kill a bitch. No, Sammy Fam, don't be doing that. He said, oh, I, uh, I, got, I caught my woman messing around, so I killed her. He said, why you did it? Um, I took the advice from Unk No Punk. No, I don't do that shit. Dude. I didn't tell you kill nobody. I'm not, I'm not telling you kill nobody, but you can, you can, you no, know, pop, pop, pop on that motherfucker, little damn sure. Uh, damn sure. Because I couldn't take that shit. Damn sure, no. Respect. You're not going to disrespect me in my house. Bring a man inside my house. In my bed. Nah, that dude had to leave. I'm going to whip her fucking ass and throw her shot the goddamn, out, out the goddamn window. End of the fucking story, fam. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it got to be. Stop being too emotional on these hood rats. You know, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? Especially you military dudes out there. You know what I'm saying? I know how it is, fam. I know how it is. Once you get deployed, you go to a field exercise for two weeks or just that. They wise be inside the club like, fire. Especially the Gulf War, remember I was like, during the Gulf War time, night with 91? Man, these military girls in the club every goddamn night. I drove by the club, one club, I'm not, this is, um, what club? The PC Club, matter of fact, called the Plantation Club. The, that's the Plantation Club. It was in Frankfurt. I'm driving one night, so it's a Wednesday night, you know, I'm out there doing my thing, you know, Uncle Punk on the streets, make his deliveries. So I said, we go ride past this way here. I ride by. The PC club on a Wednesday night, jam-packed. I said, what the fuck going on here? I got some kind of function. So I hops out the car and shit, you know, go inside and come pay my little mayor, my mayor fee, I think $5, whatever. No, but as a matter of fact, it wasn't no one over. It was just open club, military club. Yeah, we had to pay no fees. This was something going on. Anyway, I go inside there, you know. I look inside there, the whole club fucking jam-packed with women. I said, what the fuck these women come? They were sisters. They wasn't German girls. They were fucking black girls. I'm like, what the fuck going on here? I said, what's going on almost the night here? He said, oh, yeah, man, you ain't hear about it? The boys um went to they they, they going to they going to Saudi Saudi Arabia or Iraq to deploy to go fight for the Gulf War shit. They left they left this they left yesterday some shit like that whatever it was. I said yesterday these hoes they they in the club jam packed that night and the next goddamn day what happened? I got some of the African boys calling me up. Do -do 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 -do. Yo unk. I'm like what's up man my boy my Gambian boys. Hey what's up man what's up what's going on what's popping? Yo man. She came to the club last night. I told him, I was at the club. I seen, I said, about five minutes. I, and now I had to bounce around and things to do. He's like, man, yeah, they, they met girls, you know, having sex with them. You know what I'm saying? Going to, the, going to, the, um, to their houses. And they got called a house near where the military live. They inside the house. And it was on the, on the telephone talking and shit. Yeah, da, da, da. I'm driving through the house there. And that's got dead. Who the fuck do I see? The same dude that called me up. He's up on the fucking balcony, you know, with this fucking American girl. These... Little African dudes wasn't getting no pussy, especially American pussy. But what happened? Once when the American um, men went to deploy, they left their woman alone. The bitch could take a whole, they can't wait a week. They was in the goddamn club giving that pussy up, giving that pussy up. Oh, yeah, boom, I'm going to give you an extra bonus there. No, I'm going to put a little sprinkle you. Sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me. I get a little extra sprinkle there. You know what I'm saying? This is an extra one right here. This is some wild shit, some bestiality shit there. 
This also happened during that Gulf War time, 91. A female, she was married to a sergeant. What happened? They had some kind of dog in the house. She was letting the dog fuck her. And somehow they, they got stuck. Like the dogs get stuck together. That shit happened in fucking real life with a fucking female. They had to call the MPs in the hospital and shit like that. They come over there and, and get the goddamn dog. I mean, throw cold water. I don't know the fuck it is. But that was a true story, fam. Bitches out there fucking dogs. I always say she play. Oh, shit, why are you on this dog shit? Why? Because I don't trust bitches with dogs. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust bitches with dogs. You know, especially little hood rats. You know, we got them little dogs. Any kind of little mid-sized dog, they fucking lick. They lick. They fucking lick. You probably saying, oh, shit, man. Man, oh, uncle, you tripping on that shit. You tripping on that. No, I'm not tripping. I was banging this bitch out one day and shit. Pop out head in from the back. Bitch had a dog. Her fucking dog ran up, was trying to lick. I had to smack that motherfucker head. Trying to lick the dick and pussy. I was like, oh, this motherfucker trained. That shit kicked my ass. Like, this motherfucker ran here like it was fucking normal and shit. Wow, he ran like it was fucking normal. That BCL shit is not just hitting them goddamn white dudes. These black girls doing that shit too with these goddamn little dogs and shit, fam. You gotta watch out. They trust these goddamn hood rats, fam. I'm telling you. Once you leave the house, they're gonna bring a side piece inside there. They're gonna give a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? That mother side piece, my feel like fight pen a hotel for this goddamn little hood rat here. Go out house and bang a side homeboy house. And that's just the way it is. But if you walk inside the house, you catch them inside there doing something there. Do not kill that man. Please don't kill that man. Do not throw your life away. You might have a, you might have kids, you know. The kids need their father. Just take that L right there. Within two more weeks, you have another fine, badder bitch and fuck that bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, life goes on, fam. Life goes on. Let it continue going. Do not stop your life. Do not trick your, get tricked out your freedom for some damn ass hood rat. You go kill a goddamn man. What you gonna do? Using goddamn prison. Your kids outside with this goddamn hood rat. What you gonna do? Shit, by the time you, you get your fucking, your jumpsuit on, she got another nigga inside the house fucking him. You know what I'm saying? Do not trust hood rats, fam. And I'm out, fam. Peace.